groundbreaking bloodbath in Chicago. Here's what we know. Chicago. At least 41 people were shot in Chicago from 11 a.m. Saturday through Sunday morning, four fatally. Three of those deaths happened since about midnight in a period when 35 people were shot, the Chicago Tribune reports. During one two-and-a-half-hour period alone, 25 people were shot, two fatally, in five multiple injury shootings, authorities said. Another fatality happened after sunrise, when four more were shot in South Austin. Resources at local hospitals were taxed as victims and their families poured in. Access to St. Roger Hospital was tightened. At one point, more than 200 people had converged on the hospital. Mount Sinai Hospital had to stop accepting new emergency cases for a while. Sixteen of those shot were teenagers. Twelve were 17 or younger. In the shooting in Gresham, seven of the victims were 21 or younger. The Tribune reports that there was an annual block party where an estimated 1,000 people attended. If they, the shooters, shoot you they don't even run, a man told the Tribune. They just walk away, they ain't trying to run. The shooting spree began around 11 a.m. Saturday when a 38-year-old man was shot in Chicago Lawn neighborhood, the Chicago Tribune reported. About an hour later, Two men in their 40s and 50s were struck by bullets when they were caught in the crossfire between two people firing at each other from across the street. Fox News reports that the man in his 50s was pronounced dead at the hospital. Between 1.30 and 5.30 p.m. Saturday, three men, ages 25, 26 and 22, were shot in separate incidents throughout Chicago. It's unclear if the shooters were captured. But the violence didn't stop there. By 1 a.m. Sunday another 18 people were shot. A 20-year-old woman suffered a gunshot wound in the stomach when a passenger shot her in the stomach just after midnight in Logan Square. About five miles away in Lawndale, two people got out of a vehicle, fired at a crowd of people at a block party and fled the scene, the Chicago Tribune reported. Police said four people were struck, including a 13-year-old and 17-year-old boy along with a 17-year-old girl. A man, 25, was shot in the left leg. An 18-year-old was shot multiple times around 12.20 p.m. in the same neighborhood. Another eight people were shot around 12.40 a.m. when several shooters walked up to the group standing in a courtyard and began firing, police said. The youngest victim was 14 and the oldest was 35. The others shot were between 17 and 19 years old. A 17-year-old girl was killed when she suffered a gunshot wound to her face. The violence-filled weekend comes after Chicago Police Department reported there was a 10% decrease in shootings and murders during July. The number of shooting victims decreased to 332, compared to the 415 reported in July 2017. Some citizens are asking for help from the Trump administration. The situation in Chicago will only get worse if drastic measures aren't taken. They need to beef up the police department and be allowed to be much more aggressive. Unfortunately, Democrats are in charge and are more interested in protecting illegal aliens than they are the legal citizens most whom are African Americans. Americans.